It's entirely possible. I forgot to show you how I made my truss rod cover. So, let's check that out. And that's how you make a truss rod cover. Um, so we're gonna do a little experiment here. Um, I've attached my um, my freshly made truss rod cover to this um, just a little piece of sponge just to make it easier for me to handle. Um, and I'm gonna put one coat um, of true oil on this because. Um, Bloodwood has some pretty significant pores um, in it, um, and my headstock did not get sanded as nicely as I wanted it to. And then my cat comes down because he's been ignoring me all day long, but now that the camera's on, oh my god, he's going to rub the skin off my shins. <clears throat> So, um, I'm going to, my typical kind of first application of true oil is I'm just going to pretty much flood the top of this, um, let it soak in, um, and then we'll wipe off in the direction of the grain, and then we'll let it sit for a day, and it'll stink my room up, because I don't know why, the first one always stinks, the first coat, I don't know what what the deal is but after that it's not so bad but the first one's pretty stinky um so shut up so there is coat number one um we'll let that dry and then we'll look and see how the pores are because we might try to uh do something that i've heard of called um grain filling with the true oil I always store my true oil upside down. That way, if I get a film, it's going to get a film up here. And I have to do it. Uh, remember, kids, with any kind of drying oils, um, wiping oils, make sure that you air your, um, your cloth out so that it dries and then throw it away. Spontaneous combustion, all that kind of stuff. Um, so, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll wait and see what kind of kind of pores develop out of this and then we'll go from there. <clears throat>